SQL Server gives you multiple ways to easily get output in a stored procedure. And one of those ways is with the print command. Let's see that in action. We're going to create test print. Once again, we're going to have two input parameters, var1, var2. They're numbers, they're integers. I have a begin and end statement, and they're lined up. If var1 equals var2, we're going to begin and end, and I'm going to say print, not return, print variables are equal, and then I will leave. Else, if that's not the case, if var one's less than var two, I will print variable one less and return and leave. And if neither condition is met, it will fall to the third, where we know variable one must be greater, and we will print this. We've created the procedure. Now, we will execute this. Notice, I don't even need to put the word execute. I can just run the name, and it will execute this. I put 2-2. Two, two. Here we go. It's executed. Now, notice how much smaller the print is. It says variables are equal. It's a little bit difficult to see there. Now I'll put 3, 2. You know what it's going to say. Variable 1 greater. That's how the print command versus the return we just saw works. 2, 2 and 2, 1 now. I'm going to put 1,000 in here. And variable 1 is less. That's the way it's going to work. Now we are going to check out a stored procedure case statement with two input parameters. Now we're going to do a stored procedure that uses a case statement. We have two input variables, var1 an integer and var2, which is an integer. We have our begin and our end statement. Now we're going to select, we have a case with an end. We'll call it answer. When var1 equals var2, then variables are equal. When var1 less than var2, then variable 1 less. When var1 greater than var2, then variable 1 greater. We create the procedure. It's complete. Now we will run our test case stored procedure. We'll pass it two variables, two, comma, two, those are positional parameters, and variables are equal. The first variable is var1, because that's the position. Now we run it again, variable one greater. It is greater. Now we run it again, variable one less. That's a case statement and how you can implement that in your stored procedures.